Cyrex Pharmaceuticals is working on a novel class of antibiotics that treat some of the most common infections, C. difficile, also MRSA among those. And uh, with me is the CEO, David Lucci, to bring us up to date on some of these things. And I know we talked not too long ago, you had some studies and stuff going on. So talk a little bit about the, the microbiome data. Yes. Um, what did that tell you? So what the microbiome data shows is that we're restoring a healthy microbiome in the patients who have C. difficile by the end of just the third day of treatment out of a 10-day treatment regimen. And it also showed us that the secondary bile acids are uh, unusually elevated uh, at the end, by the end of treatment, uh, which is uh, scientific terms for the risk of relapse or reinfection is very low because of the presence of so many secondary bile acids. Yeah, well, and that was a big problem with the, the C. diff, was the reinfection rate that was... Yes. You know, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was a d good treatment, but it could have been a lot better. Yeah, so oral vancomycin is the frontline therapy. It's got a 20 to 40 percent reinfection rate. Mm -hmm. And we think that's why Pfizer and Sanofi attempted but failed at uh, having vaccines as frontline therapy for C. difficile. Interesting. We think we have something that, you know, our data is consistent and it's consistently excellent, going all the way back to preclinical. Yeah. And we're seeing signs now in the phase 2B uh, showing that that consistency is just moving forward. And C. diff is common, you mentioned, in nursing homes and hospitals when people yes, are kind of is. at their most vulnerable. So um, this is a huge problem with healthcare. Yes, it's 500,000 patients per year, according to industry estimates, and 30,000 people a year die. Yeah. Um, all right. So there's uh, also a non-dilutive grant opportunity that yes. you're looking at. So yes. tell me about that. So that actually uh, is $16 million of non-dilutive funding uh, that would pay for our second antibiotic program, which uh, targets the treatment of MRSA infections, both orally and IV. And it pays for five years, 70% uh, of five years of uh, all of the R&D that will be required. Mm -hmm. So it really puts the second drug on the map. And if we get this uh, grant, uh, we expect to be able to announce it in April. Yeah. So the next six months between the 2B data, which could be out by April, we're not sure, we haven't guided, um, between that and with the grant, uh, by the end of April, I mean, we have multiple shots on goal. Those are the biggest two, other than the 900 pound gorillas in the room, which are the Disarm Act and the Pasteur Act which is the government's way to kind of fix the antibiotics industry uh, through uh, payments uh, to incubator companies uh, for phase three and for reimbursement once they're approved. So they're, they're quite substantial. Uh, we could get $750 million to $3 billion over 10 years if the Pasteur Act is approved, for example. And we understand that it's, it's bubbled right up to the top of the pack. Oh, so this is an act that's currently being considered in yes. Congress? Yes, yes. Okay, um, and that just you know brings me to the idea that you and I have talked about antibiotics. What we're using, penicillin and tetracycline and so forth, are, haven't been around for a long time. There hasn't been updates there. There haven't been, and you know there have been dozens and dozens of antibiotics approved, but they're all slight tweaks to prior antibiotics that have been approved. So the bacteria, which has memories, they, they find ways not to be killed by those new classes of antibiotics. Um, they call that antimicrobial resistance, and the process is much quicker. Resistance is developed much more quickly if you don't have a novel new class. With a novel new class, See. literally no bacteria knows of us and will be able to recognize us. Got it. Okay. Yeah, because we can build up a resistance over time. Yes. It's so smart little germs, aren't yes, they? Yes, they so. are. <laughs> and in fact, when we shake hands, the bacteria on my hand and your hand, they meet. Mm. It's kind of like putting cell phones together, and they share memories. <laughs> So even if you've never had an antibiotic, uh -huh. I've had a lot, all of a sudden the bacteria on your hand walk away from that handshake and they have all the memories of the antibiotics that I've taken. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, so there was phase three data uh, with the C. diff drug. Uh, phase 2B. Phase 2B, but then, um, w so when does phase three come and how big could this be, a $500 million drug, more than that or? Um, the target estimates, peak year sales estimates are over a billion. And we're not the only ones who say that. Frontline therapy, according to Pfizer, when they were doing their mm -hmm. vaccine, they estimated 1.05 billion uh, for their vaccine if it were approved, but it's failed. So, um, in the near term, you know, we could be easily looking at two to three hundred million in market cap if we have the confluence of all these shots on goal come out in our favor. Meaning, uh, if we get the the non-dilutive grant, if our phase two B data. 
uh, comes out earlier than expected, say in the springtime, uh, due to success, it may be early terminated if, if the data keeps uh, going very well. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, we'll have to wait on it. But if it comes out in the spring, and if, uh, if we get the grant in the spring, and either disarm or pasteur are passed, which we would anticipate by the spring, then you know, I, I think that in combination with the macroeconomic impact of the election in November, mm -hmm. I think would put us in a really good place. Wow, and so the next six months are gonna be very crucial for yes, you. Yes, yes. So. After the next six months, we should be starting uh, Acurex 3.0. Acurex 1.0 is when we started the company, bought the asset, uh, financed it uh, privately, and then 2.0 started with the IPO in June 21. And we're about six months away, I think, I hope, uh, from Acurex 3.0. Okay. Well, I know you'll keep us updated as all these trial, uh, the data come in and all that. Definitely. I appreciate it, Jane. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. So.